Hello Techies! Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to save email messages which are there in the Outlook by using Save Outlook Email Messages Outlook Action. While you are going to save these email messages, there are three types of formats which we can save these email messages. One is plain text, that is in .txt format. Second one, rich text, that is .msg format. Another one, HTML, that is .mht format. Let me drag and drop this Save Outlook Email Message action onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see the parameters. First parameter, Outlook Instance. Whatever the instance we have created at the time of launch Outlook, the same instance we are going to use it over here. And the account, I'm going to give the data files account name, which I have shown you in the previous session, the same account name that I'm going to use it over here. That is LT. Now, email messages to save. Whatever the retrieved emails we have from the retrieved email messages action, the same mails I'm going to save it over here. In that case, I'm going to select for this parameter as retrieved emails. And I will show you what are there in the retrieved emails. And after that, if you see the save format, as I said, there are three formats that we have. One is plain text, rich text, HTML. First of all, the text is nothing but simple text that we have. That is simply we are going to save in the text format. Another one, Outlook template, if you see, it will be stored in the .oft format. What is this .oft? OFT stands for Outlook File Template, which is developed by the Microsoft. This file format is used for email template and contains pre-formatted layout, which is used for the creating custom messages with the similar look and feel to help saving time. All right, now MSG. An MSG file extension is a simple format to save Outlook items such as email messages, reminders, contacts, calendars, tasks, to-do list, and many more. It also stores fields such as date, sender, recipient information, message, body, etc. All right. Now, finally, we'll see about the MHT files. MHT is a web page archived format which stands for MIME HTML. MHT format files mainly open in browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox, with the help of an add-ons. Converting individual Outlook emails to MHT format can be done within the Outlook itself. There is also, we are having an option over here. Now, I will show you all these four formats over here. First, let me start with the text format, all right? And if you see in the file name, I'm having two options again. One is default, nothing but however you have in the mails, the same format with the subject, it will come over here. Or else if you want the custom format, how you want to save the mails, you can go ahead and you can do that. I will show you in the both the file, for, uh, file names. Right now I'm going to select default. Default with text format. Now I'm going to select the location where I need to save these email messages. I will select my desktop. On my desktop, I'm having save mails. Let's click on OK and click on save for the save Outlook email messages. Now, once the process has been completed as a practice that will use display message over here, I will give the message box title as Outlook action and then message to display, I will say saved successfully. All right, let's click on save. Now I have launched an Outlook instance and after that, as a best practice, I will close the Outlook instance. Let's drag and drop this close Outlook instance onto the workspace. And then you can see Outlook instance, the same instance which have been used at the time of launch Outlook. Let's click on save. And if you see, once the saved Outlook emails have been saved, there you are having one more flow variable which will be created that is stored mail messages. That variable has been created successfully. Now, in the retrieved email messages also, I need to make some of the changes. Because of 
uh, in the previous session, I have used this retrieve email messages, right? Let's double click on that. And after that, I need to get mail folder over here with the name of incident, mail folder incident. And after that, I'm not going to give any subject over here. Now let's click on save. Now, if you see in my incident folder, mail folder that I'm having two mails, right? These two mails has to be saved in the text format. Now, before running this flow, let me show my folder that is save mails. Let's click on that. And if you see in my folder, I don't have any kind of files over here. All right. Let's run the flow. At the same time, I'm keeping the folder side by side. And you can see once the flow has been executed successfully, you can see the two files over here in the save mails folder that is in the text format. If you double click on that, an entire data has been stored in the text format. That is by using text format. All right, let's click on OK. Now we'll see the OFT format, that is Outlook file template. Let's double click on the save Outlook email messages. And then I'm going to change the save format as Outlook template. It's nothing but the extension you will get it as .oft. All right, let's click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output. And at the same time, I'm going to keep side by side the save mails folder also. And you can see where at the time of execution that you can get it. These two files, email messages that in the format of OFT. You can see when I have mouse over on that, you can see the type Outlook item template. Let's double click on that. And you can see this is a template format. It's coming in the template format. All right. Let's close it. And clicking on save successfully dialog, click on OK. Now I will show you another format that is MSG format. Let's double click on the save Outlook email messages. Over here, I'm going to select Outlook message format dot MSG, select that. And over here, if you see the file name, I'm going to take it as a custom. So custom, I will make it as some uh, random name over here, incident emails. All right, now let's click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Now, if you see here over here, once the save Outlook action has processed successfully, you can see over here, e incident emails incident email to like that what will happen if there is n number of mails it will come as incident emails three and so on all right it's a custom format which we have given all right let's click on save now we'll see the web page archive format that is dot mht format let's double click on the save outlook email messages over here i'm going to select the save format as dot mht and then I'm going to re I'm removing this file name as custom and I'm going to select it as default itself. And then I'm going to click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. It is retrieving all the messages and then it is going to be storing over here. Now, if you see these two mails or in the MHT format. So what, what does that mean? These files can be open only in the internet browser, such as I will click on this and I can open in HTML format. Let's and over here, you can find Internet Explorer, click on that and select OK. And now if you see the mail, that the mail has been stored in the .mhtml format and there you can see the mail related information over here. In my subject, I'm having so and so thing and from send to details I'm having over here. All right. I'm going to click on save it successfully. Okay. Now you may ask why it is required to save the Outlook email messages. For and suppose in our one of our mails, what we are going to do, we are going to attach the mails which are already existing mails. Now for that attachment, I don't want to forward that. I want to attach it the bulk emails at the same time. And then I want to forward that to the particular recipient. All right. In that case, we are going to use this kind of save Outlook email message action. I hope you understand how to work with save Outlook email messages action in this tutorial. And also we have seen different formats such as dot text format, 
dot oft format dot msg format and finally we have seen dot mhd format also thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day